Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel And yes, it has been a long time since I posted a video It's just that I did have a hectic schedule Although that's not really an excuse I was still making art but I was not able to film it So in this case, I just like to again um, be free and today is my day off and I'm off work and this is my time for me and my art to get together so this is how I want to spend most of my days off actually and here I'm just experimenting I just want to talk about um, things in general like how I experiment with this medium um, kind of new to gouache I have used them in the past but I would not say that I have used them as much as the watercolors. It is actually the same with watercolors. It acts in a similar manner but at the same time it's different. So the only thing that I like about gouache is its opaque quality. So. You can use it more or less like a watercolor or like an acrylic paint depending on how you add water and depending on how you apply more pigment on the paper. So this is my um, own technique in doing um, a watercolor, or, sorry, rather a gouache painting. And yes, here I am using my Winsor & Newton gouache. I have shown it to you at the beginning of the video and I have a very limited palette. Um, I'm actually using just red, yellow, blue, green and white. So the white gouache is very helpful because it dilutes um, some of the colors like for example for the red um, if I add red and white um, it's so beautiful because I can get a hint of pink and that's what I'm using here so I just mix and match and it get it actually gives um, the brush stroke some depth because if I just use um, plain red it would be very dull and flat but with a white gouache you can play with um, how the paint would show on the paper like in this case um, um, in this case it's giving um, the painting more depth and at this point I'm just really enjoying the process I'm not um, not really thinking too much about things and I just decided to mix red white and a bit of blue and now I have a purple color and this is a very pretty color and this is how I um, I do the same process so the petals of the flowers um, if you observe them closely they would look like they're connected but actually um, they are individual petals that hug each other starting from the inner core going outwards so this is um, so unique and that's why I love painting roses because it gives you that optical illusion like it's um, all connected but actually the petal is there piece by piece so different artists have various styles here i'm just painting the petal um yeah i'm giving an impression that i'm painting it petal by petal and i think it really works well with um, gouache and yes just enjoying the process here and if you'd like you can give it a try definitely and it's um the more water you put on the gouache then it becomes diluted the lesser the water then it becomes really concentrated and the thing that I like about gouache because it gives your artwork that poster like effect and personally I just like to share that 
Painting roses to me is almost like a form of meditation because just imagine you're making random or oh, well not really random but you're making um, semi-circles starting from um, the inner core going outwards and it's very calming it's very relaxing and at the same time as you go on with the process and you look at it and you realize how pretty they are and yeah it really comes and suits the mind and this is what I like about art it's actually um, a bonus that things like this happen because you get so into it you do get um, lost in the art world like you're just there and you forget everything else and yeah painting something um, that's repetitive like painting roses because the process is more or less the same so this is really um, um, a nice way of um, doing meditation I would say <laughs> and now I'm just starting with um, my greens with the leaves so the moment you put greens um, you can actually see the roses come pop out rather pop out and then and you can see the contrast between the greens and the reds and the violets and that's really beautiful yeah and I, I really enjoy this painting I really like this and so guys I will just let you um, watch the video and I hope you do enjoy it and I hope you give this video a thumbs up like it and if you feel like please do subscribe to my channel thank you so much again for watching and till next time bye for now Thank you.